Interview number 147 for the Stockport County Managers. Jonesy, can you believe what you've seen this afternoon? Um, Result-wise, I always thought we had a chance. And as long as, I've said before, as long as we play to the best of our ability, and we didn't freeze, and we certainly didn't do that, and I thought uh, it was a proud day for Stockport. We've come from behind twice against the form team in the Premiership. Um, yeah, we were disappointed that we gave the first goal away because we said five minutes before we went out that uh, if Neville gets it, they've got quick players up front and now and again he'll punt the ball down the middle and he'll expect the Flyers to get on the end of it. And So he's messed it up uh, and he holds his hands up to that and put credit and we got back into it and we got on top again and then he scored again. And I didn't have to say anything at half-time because the lads knew that they had a chance and they certainly proved that in the second half. Support help? Brilliant, because I've um, I've played here many times and to actually come here and shout down the Everton supporters takes some doing. A couple of cracking goals. The first one, happy with that when it went in? Every goal is a cracking goal. I don't care with the, how it went in. Um, yeah, great build-up, patience, good ball in, good knockdown. I thought Chris, you should have had the first one, but he's pulled off a good save and Alan's folded in. I think you would go a long, long way to see a quality goal in the second one. And that, that I mean, that was a great move. One through ball from Lee Todd was, was, I mean, I was right on it. It was superb. Yeah. And we were willing and shouting Chrissy to hit it first time. And he did it and he picked out the big fella brilliantly. A couple of chances right at the end that maybe for either side of the goal. Maybe if they'd have widened the goals like they're proposing to do, we might be in the... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we had a couple of chances. I mean, they had one at the end that's just at the side net and just outside of the post. I thought it was a, a game that went from end to end. And, I mean, from where we sit, it looked exciting. And I'm sure from up top, it looked even better. We were talking before the game to Sean Connolly and Lee Todd about the, the Limpa and Kanchelskis threat uh, down the wings, which is is obviously there for everybody to see, and how many orifices they would be breathing through by half-time. Considering the mistake that was made early on, uh, Kanchelskis and Limpa, neither of them, in fact, one of them was substituted, so, I mean, the defence did the job and did it well, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Toddy and Sean knew they had a big job on their hands today, as did Mick and Boundy. And we had a little game plan. We knew that we couldn't let them get in behind us and it worked a treat and it showed a lot of character especially from Toddy to come back after such a dreadful mistake and I've just said to all the boys in there that you can't buy that sort of character that has to be inbred and every one of them today that walked onto that pitch was absolutely brilliant main problem now of course is uh, getting over our home form uh, for the for the second leg um, and no chance of switching it and playing back here again for the replay yeah you say getting ov over your home form and that but we've had some really good games at Edgeley and we've been very unlucky and I've also said all along it's a learning process and when you try and play the way that we are playing you know you give teams chances to come back at you and we've worked on it and worked on it all all season and it's just starting to come together now Jonesy, well done. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks.